Now, question says solve by substitution. As we said here, if we look at um, when we're solving by substitution, we always want to isolate for the variable that is by itself. So here, x is by itself. There's no number in front of it. Here, y is by itself. Um, so it doesn't really matter. We can solve for x or we can solve for y, but we're going to keep equation 1. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange equation number 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate. I'm just going to isolate for x. So what we're going to have is x. We're going to have the equal 6. Right? We're going to write down anything that is not going to move from the left side and right side of this equal sign. Right? The one thing that's going to move is this plus y. So this plus y is going to become minus y. So what we're going to do now is we've got isolated for our unknown and we're going to substitute x minus y into equation number one. So what we're going to do, let's rewrite equation number two. So equation number two is as follows. 2x plus 2y equals 7. Remember, you are always when substituting, we're always substituting either equation 1 into 2 or 2 into 1. Right? You might have three variables um, if you're doing some problem solving. Uh, it works the same way, exact way. So what we're going to do is, since x is what we've isolated, x is what we are going to put our uh, brackets around it. So we're going to rewrite the equation. But instead of x, we are going to put what the value of x is equal to. And the value of x is equal to 6 minus y. So we're going to close that. Plus 2y equals 7. Right? So there we have the, uh, the following expression. All right? So now, as we said, distributive law. This 2 multiplies in with the 6. 2 multiplies in with the negative y. So we get 12. 2 times negative y gives us negative 2y plus 2y equals 7. So here, what we want to do is isolate for the y's, right? So we have negative 2y plus 2y equals 7. So we want to keep the y's on one side, keep the whole numbers, move this over to this side. So when we move this 12 over, it becomes a negative 12. Right? But now, look at this. Look what happens when I try to simplify negative 2y plus 2y. I'm going to get 0. So when our letters, when we try to simplify, we get 0y as such. When we get something like that, really, and it's not really 0y, it's really 0. But when we get this 0 here, and this 0 equals... I guess, uh, you know, this negative 5. What this means is that these two lines are, in fact, parallel to one another. Okay? So when this 0 is there, it means that these lines are... Uh, oops, I can't even spell parallel today. Parallel. Okay, so we know that the two lines are parallel, and what that means is that there is no solution. Two parallel lines will never intercept, in, uh, intersect one another. Okay, so when we have something like this, when this equals out to uh, zero, then you know that you're going to have um, zero. So if zero equals a nut, some kind of number, we know zero is not going to equal another number, different number, zero equals zero, um, you have what we call parallel lines. Now let's look at another option. 